Welcome to Truth on Life TV. I hope you're all doing well. Good to have you on this channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave comments below. Please share this video. This video might help someone in many ways. So today, I've come to give you a video on how God speaks to us. Um, actually, today is going to be about 11 ways in which God speaks to us. 11 ways in which God speaks to us. Basically, you will need to develop a pattern with which God speaks. I'll be reading from my notes today, so you will see me flipping through my notes. But most importantly, I would like you to pay attention and see if you can find a way that you can develop um, um, how God speaks to you. You will develop a pattern with which is God speaks. It will become a usual way and um, a usual rhythm. And God will, will not just speak in just one way. He will not speak in all the ways i'm going to mention today but god will speak to us differently god speaks to us differently and it happens with our relationship with him the way we relate to god we relate with god is the way god speaks so the first one on my list today is through his word I can tell you that studying God's word is the one of the best ways that God speaks. He speaks different meanings to us each time that we open the word of God. Today we might open a Bible verse and God speaks to us one way in that place. Tomorrow we might open the same verse and God speaks to us in another form through the same word that we've just opened so god speaks to us in different ways god speaks to us in different ways in different ways you we can see that the bible says that in the end in the end when the world is coming to an end it says that there will be wars nations will begin to rise against nations and these are the things that we see today. Today we see Russia against Ukraine. Today we see um, Israel and Palestine. So these are the things. It says that there will be lots of earthquake. Look at Luke chapter 2 verse 17. It says that there will be lots of earthquake. There will be shortage of food. There will be terrible diseases. Coronavirus. We can see all of that. And it says that in Matthew 24 verse 12, it says that there will be increase in lawlessness. We see all of these things daily. So this is one of the ways that God speaks to us. He speaks to us through his word. We might read the same verse and it speaks to us differently. So this is one of the ways that God speaks to us. Then if we move, if we move on to number two, God speaks through human messengers human mess messengers god speaks to us like the way i'm speaking to you now god might speak through me and you find something that i uh, that i've spoken to you that touches you god can speak through me to you god can speak to anyone god speaks through men of god through people around you you will find that as soon as someone says something it will just click it will resonate with what you are going through or what you are about to go through amos chapter 3 verse 7 says god reveals his secret to his prophets you will find that god speaks through anyone sometimes god might even speak through your kids God might speak through your enemies. God might speak through your neighbors. God might speak through your wife. God might speak through the people at work. God might speak through the people that you don't like, the people that likes you. God speaks through anybody. This is why we should not despise 
um, when God speaks. Sometimes you listen to some messages on the internet and you just feel like, ah, I just don't want to listen to this person. But then you might grab something from that person. God speaks through humans. Humans are the handwork of God. So God can speak through humans. So the, the third one on my list is through angels. In the Bible, we see from Abraham that God did speak true angels they are different angels for different purposes the angel michael is for war when there is um god wants to send a message through war he sends angel michael and when he wants to send messages good news he sends um angel gabriel even melchizedek was a priest of god who, 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 who was who ministered unto Abraham? He was the one who took the first tithe in the Bible. If we see in Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6, angels reminded Zechariah of what God had told him before. So God speaks through diverse means, diverse ways, especially through angels. Angels is the number three on my list god speaks through angels to us so uh, the fourth one is in the perfect still when everything is calm today we see that most of the black churches and everything we want to play the drums i'm not saying there's something wrong in playing the drums um playing the instrument as loud as we can but when we want the calmness the presence the movement of the holy spirit will bring everything down and god speaks in that calmness sometimes we want god to show up in a loud bang and just destroy everything and then he speaks to us but god is not a author of confusion we want him to speak in thunder and fire but he wants our attention how do you grab the attention of someone when how do you tell someone when everywhere is so loud and you can and you're speaking everyone speaking above each other you will miss a lot of vital information but god communicates wants to communicate with us clear and concise words he wants to speak to us in the calm when we are calm the holy spirit also speaks many mysteries first corinthians chapter 2 verse 1 to 16 says that god has revealed to us things through the spirit he searches the deep things we cannot reach for god to show us the deep things that we cannot reach he needs that calmness he needs that peace he needs that peace and calmness in fact it will speak uh, um, we need to develop that quietness quietness we need to keep still after prayer or before prayer or even without prayer we need to be calm and god may speak in fact he will speak if we yearn for him the number fifth one is prophetic acts when prophets do things that we think are not approved by us god speaks in such ways sometimes we see a lot of prophets on the internet these days they show a mystery and different things that will just be things that ah, is god really here but remember god asked uh, the prophet Hosea to marry a prostitute and i'm not saying that now that a prophet that marries a prostitute but remember in that time God asked Hosea to marry a prostitute. Why? He said that so that he wants to show us, to tell us how we have strayed away from him, and that if we seek him again, he will find we will find well being in renewed relationship with God. Hence, my followers. If you see a man of God behave in any way that you think is not right, please don't criticize them. But ask God, what is the lesson here? 
don't miss the voice of god in the distraction that has occurred around the world there is a lot of things going on around the world even 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 if you look at the bible the bible says that even ezekiel even ezekiel in the bible pulled he he he, he, he pulled he did so most of the prophet did a lot of things that were distracting but it it was for a purpose it was for a purpose so god speaks through prophetic acts different acts that you might see that is strange but god is speaking through those things so i'm moving on to the sixth one now the sixth one is true visions this happens when you are awake is different from daydreams genesis 15 verse 1 says after these things the word of god came to abraham in a vision things happen when you are awake not when you are asleep this is visions john in revelations saw visions of what is to come at that moment he was awake and everything around him seems to pause he was no longer aware of his surroundings the bible says in the last days in acts chapter 2 verse 17 your sons and daughters will prophesy your young men will see visions visions is one of the ways that god speaks visions visions is one of the ways that god speaks and the next one is through dreams this one is a powerful one be careful of your dreams when you sleep this is a powerful one it tells what is about to happen and what um, what is about to happen and what has happened and how you can overcome it if you are the type that you sleep and you dream and you forget your dreams there are, there are some videos that i have made in my on this channel on how to remember your dreams how not to forget your dreams you need to go through that video go through that video your dreams are powerful your dream says a lot your dreams is a way that god shows you it shows us even whether we are a believer or we are not a believer god shows us a lot of things through dreams through dreams remember that joseph joseph was a dreamer his brothers dreamt he dreamt he saw all those things that were to come and they came to pass and he also was one who interpreted dreams so god speaks to us through dreams so the number eight one i'm just rushing through this so i don't make this video too long for us number eight way is directly from god ha ah, this is this is fire the most desirable numbers chapter 12 verse 8 he said i will speak to him mouth to mouth meaning that god speaks to us and we can speak back to him and we can have a meaningful conversation with god this is one that everyone yearns for but it's not to say that this is the best of them all in every way god has his own method of speaking to us all remember samuel even had the voice of god but yet he did not recognize it he had to run down to Eli quite a number of times before Eli now told him that it was God so we need to develop that relationship to, with God for him to speak directly and when he speaks for us to know that it is God speaking to us it is so that we, we know that it is God speaking to us. It is different from the voice that we hear, hear in our head. People still hear God speak today and it is very, very audible. And we can also hear him in our inner voice. He speaks in our minds. And most people struggle to know if it is the voice of God or it is um, our own voice. You will be able to master the voice of God with time with our walk with god and when we desire to know god when we desire to hear from him and then the sensitivity to hear from god with time will master the desire and the sensitivity to hear from him 
the number ninth one is intuition intuition this one is the one that the thoughts that comes into your mind this is how we sometimes say oh the holy spirit told me to do this it is built naturally into man you will know when the holy spirit speaks to you we need to develop the habit of fellowship with the holy spirit he is with us and wants to fellowship with us when the holy spirit speaks it comes enveloped with a sense of peace especially in the storm of your life you feel that peace you feel that peace and the word um, i mean the word drops in your spirit jesus when jesus asked the disciples who he was and none of them could even say it unless peter and Pete, the, the next thing jesus said there was that the Holy Spirit of God revealed it unto Peter. So the Holy Spirit of God reveals mysteries that we do not know. Things that we, know, we do not know. It just drops it in our spirit. One day, um, I will tell you of a scenario. One day, my daughter went to play with her friends. Some of their friends, they gathered around and um, they went to um, a particular friend's house. So while I was hoovering the house, doing my house shows, I just, um, the Holy Spirit just dropped it into my mind to drop everything I was doing and pray for my child. So I just dropped it and I prayed for my child. I just said a word of prayer for my child and I went about my, my yeah, whatever I was doing. Less than two minutes later, my wife rushed in from the kitchen to tell me, oh, that... Um, we have to go and pick my daughter that one of them while they were playing on the trampoline broke her leg it was exactly the same time when i was praying for my daughter so imagine my daughter is a bit bigger than all of her friends imagine if she was the one that broke her leg that day so the Holy Spirit drops it into our spirit to do something. It might tell you to pray. It might tell you to do something. It might tell you to... So, the Holy Spirit just drops it into our spirit to do something. That is intuition. God speaks to us through intuition. And the number 10th one is discernment. You just know that this thing is right or it is wrong. You can't pinpoint what it actually is at that moment. But you just know that there is a sensitivity in your spirit that it is not okay. That you are, you are able to identify the will and direction concerning a particular thing. There is a lot which, which we can talk about in discernment. Discernment is, is just, you just feel it in your spirit that this thing should not work. This thing will work. This... The discernment, just, you just feel it deep down in your spirit, but you cannot point to what it is. It is discernment. A Christian needs this path, this discernment. There is a lot that we can talk about on um, how God speaks. But I will be ending here with the last one. The last one is through trances. Trance. We have stopped focusing on this because people use it diabolically these days and demonically. And spiritually, we need to be careful with trance. People see trances of so many things. It's one of the ways that God speaks to us. With trances, we come out of our natural faculty and we cannot really comprehend it. Nebuchadnezzar saw the third person in the fire when others could not see it. With Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. John was in a trance when he saw things in Revelation. Peter and Paul in Acts chapter 10 verse 10. You can read this later. Acts chapter 11 verse 5. Acts chapter 22 verse 17. Peter went into a trance to show him things that was about to happen. And those things happened just immediately he came out of those trance. So trances is one of the ways that God speaks to us. So these are some of the ways that God speaks to us. We can continue and continue and continue to speak, to, 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 to find out the ways that God speaks to us. But there's quite a lot of them that we cannot really, really comprehend. 
but you as a person you need to master the way that god speaks to you you will have developed a relationship with god to find out which way he wants to speak to you so we have come to the end of the video today i hope this helps someone who will continue the way we've been making videos i'll be continue to make more videos on prayers we'll be praying more on this channel and we'll be praying and liberating people from different bondages and we'll be moving forward so may god help us as we've come to our end the end of this video please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video you don't know who you might be helping till i come your way again stay blessed bye for now